Welcome to Lab Rats, I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew, and today two teams of Lab Rats will be battling it out in the lab for the glory of being cheese sludged and claiming a major prize. Sounds good. Doesn't it? It does. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's do it. Over on the red team today, I've got Josh and David. Now, Josh, what kind of things do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, sport and music. I play rugby league, cricket. And music? Oh, yeah, I play guitar. Have you got any people that you look up to that are really good at guitar playing that you want uh, to be? Not like? really. No? Just you just want to yeah. play the guitar, basically. That's just really chilled out, aren't you, it Josh? Is, yeah. And David, you've got some pretty interesting talents. What's the most special thing about yourself? Well, the most special thing I can do would have to be riding a unicycle. A unicycle's only got one wheel, right? Yeah. Okay, how on earth do you balance? I don't. I just fall off every time and then, <laughs> I, and then I learnt to ride it and now I ride in the house. How does Mum feel about that? Um, well, I haven't broken a window yet, so she's pretty happy. Yet. I yet. like the yet. Have you broken anything? A uh, uh, window frame, but she doesn't know about that. Okay, oops, I think she just found out. <laughs> Making up the awesome team of Blue today, we have Jess and Tennille. Now, Jess, do you have any special skills? Yeah, I can make strange noises with my mouth. Can you show us? Sure. Psst, psst, ch -ch -ch how did you learn you could do that? In my choir, we had to do it to practice for our voices. A pretty cool skill to have. <laughs> Tanil, what would you like to do when you leave school? Um, I'd like to become a fashion designer and maybe an actor. Now is a good time to try out those <laughs> skills. All right, show me Tanil being sad. Well, that is sad. I hope we don't lose today. What about Tanil being happy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? And this one's for the red team. What about Tanil being angry? Um. Uh... <laughs> You see that, red team? That's what's coming at you today. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, let that be a lesson. All right, now that everyone's riled up, let's get into the Nano Challenge. We all help out around the house with cleaning and chores and things like that. Well, we probably yes, don't like we the do. fact that... Oh, OK, obviously Drew does it. Yeah. But I think it'll be heaps more fun if we used homemade appliances. Take a look at this. What is that? This is a homemade vacuum cleaner. Oh. All right, it does work. <laughs> ah, we and got it. We go. All right, so you, I'm going to get you to sort of aim. All righty. And so every time I take my finger off the end of the tube, I'm going to Whoa! That is impressive. Oh, it lost a bit of air because I didn't blow it up quite so hard. That's OK. We're still working like a vacuum cleaner. How did you get that? Well, when the balloon deflates, the air pressure inside the bottle decreases. OK, so the higher air pressure in the atmosphere then rushes in towards the space where the balloon was. OK, and because these guys are really light, they just have blown up into the bottle. Suck straight inside. Suck straight into the bottle. So what's the challenge for these guys today? OK, so you're going to have a lot more beanbag balls on the tray to start with. OK, so it's the team that can clear the tray the quickest that will win the nano challenge and get themselves 10 points. Okay, your time starts now. Go for it. the tray first and they've picked themselves up 10 points. Well, I found it difficult to blow it in when I was blowing, kept going back into my mouth. Well, I had to blow it in and then I had to stick my tongue in and it was really difficult. So you weren't using, we didn't do the thumb 
we were using the tumble yeah. set. Thankfully, we don't have to rely on that kind of technique to do the vacuuming around the yeah. house, huh? Yeah. yeah. Here comes our first look at today's scoreboard. We have the blue team on zero points so far. And the red team so far on ten points. Oh, they're hitting each other as well. I think that's supposed to be a high five. They're manning up. It's just went wrong. They're inspiring each other. Come on! <laughs> we can do this! Let's see what the blue team can pull out of the hat in What Will Happen If. Tell me, Nick, does music inspire you? It does. It does? Obviously, there's not an orchestra following us no. around to do it. So, I decided to make my own music one day. Oh. I had some straws lying around, so I'll show you how to do this. Take a straw, flatten out the end. Mm -hmm. This is your teeth. Oh, you're squashing it down. Mm -hmm. Right. There you are. See that? Nice and flat. Yes. Right there. Okay, now we take a pair of scissors and we're just going to cut the mouthpiece. Like so. As you can see what I've done there. Mm -hmm. Kind of made a little triangle shape. Yep. And now I can make music wherever I go. Here we are. Music to my ears. Don't act like you're not inspired. <laughs> now, the question for the lab rats today is if I play this straw kazoo and start cutting away at the length, what will happen to the sound? If they get this one right, they'll score themselves five points. I think maybe we'll get more high pitched. Yeah, why do you think that? Maybe because there's just less, maybe it gets deeper as there's more straw. So if we get less, we'll get high pitched. Oh, uh, well, the sound will definitely change. Mm -hmm. How so? Lower or higher? Uh, What's higher? Higher? Does that mean when it goes like... Yeah. Oh! What was that, Josh? You can scream? <laughs> no, it didn't work a second ago. Yeah. Oh, gonna have to go with that answer? Yeah, it'll definitely go higher. I think maybe it'll like go lower, like deeper. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, so Jess thinks it's going to go higher and you think it's going to go lower. We can only submit one answer. Do you guys want to... I'll go with that answer. Why so? I don't know. Maybe mine doesn't seem to make sense that much. Okay. So, yeah. So you're going to go with Jess? Yeah. Alrighty. The sound will get higher. Before we get into our answer, I just want to announce that I will be touring with this. Oh, a show. I can't wait to get it's just two hours of me one. doing. <laughs> tickets will sell fast. But we're digressing. Let's get to the answer. Let's find out what will happen to the sound. Do you want to snip away at it? I will. Play? I'll snip away. Yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, that's going to have to do. As you can see, the sound got higher. The pitch of the sound got higher. Both of you guessing it correct there. Do you know why? I have no idea. Well, when we play the kazoo, for it to make that kazoo sound, <laughs> the air vibrates back and forth in the straw. The faster it vibrates back and forth, the higher the pitch. So obviously, like you kind of said, Jeff, when it's long, we'll get those deeper sounds because it takes longer. So and when it's shorter, forward. a lot faster. So you get the higher pitch. Perfect sense. And we're all inspired, aren't we? Yes, yes. definitely. Both picking up five, five points, points as well. Scoreboard looking a little bit better now. We have the blue team on five points. And the red team on 15 points. Got the high five that time. That was impressive. <laughs> Only 10 points separating the leaders from the team that's behind. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be plenty of chances to grab some big points as our challenges get bigger and the points get bigger. <laughs>I promised the challenges would get bigger and we're about to deliver. As a matter of fact, the lab rats are going to build this challenge bigger. Fantastic. Have you guys ever built anything really huge? No. no. Uh, Not really. No. No? no. Not at all? <laughs> exactly. Well, now is your chance. The challenge for our lab rats today is to build a structure that hangs as far as they can get it over the end of the ground support. So this is our ground support here. So to give you an example of what it might look like, I'm going to put this piece on there. So that's hanging maybe about 30 centimetres. Our lab rats want to build it as far out as possible. The team that builds there is the furthest out from the ground support will pick themselves up 15 points. But hang on, Drew, only one team at a time can do this, right? Yes. Yes, all right. So blue team are behind, so we might give them the choice. Would you guys like to have a go at this first or go second and be shrunk by the shrinking ray gun? 
Second. 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 Shrinking it is. All right, blue team, it's time to be shrunk. To Neil and Jess, you ready to do this? Oh, Definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's make it happen. Yeah. Now, Tanil, you wanted to be an actor. I don't think there is an Academy Award for world's tiniest actor. Uh, but if there was, what would your acceptance speech be like? Um, I'd probably be thank you very much for this opportunity. It's very nice and I like being small. So thank you, thank you to my fans and thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right, we want to make sure you guys are safe. So Nick's going to place a cage down around you now. Well, to keep you entertained and just to keep an eye on you, two cat's eyes on you, is our pet around here, Kitty. <laughs> well, obviously the blue team aren't cat or cage people. See how the red team goes in Method Madness. Oh, well, we could have it like that, um, like one there and then one on top, and then it goes out a bit, and then you put another one on top to make it wait, and then it put it... Oh, no. <laughs> it'll, it'll hopefully work. The red team are ready to start building. They've got five minutes. Guys, you ready? Time starts now. <laughs> We're over halfway now, guys. Just under two and a half minutes to go. We'll put it there and then we'll put this like it looks like a bridge. It's not going any longer. Oh, just take, take it all off. Oh, no, leave it, leave it like that. Leave it. Put it on top of it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Now it's time to unshrink the blue team. I think we want, once we get the first one out, we can put others on top of it to balance it so it can stay in place. Your five minutes starts now. Things left. Hurry up. Hurry. Fifteen seconds. Stupid. Hold it. Put one up there. Ten seconds. So, take it off. Take it off. Okay. So, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is time, blue team. So, Nick, how do you feel? Red team went in that challenge. Pretty good. How do you think blue team went in that challenge? E exceptionally well. As exceptionally a matter of fact, well. I'm happy just to give us the points right now. All oh, right. Oh, I think we should check those measurements first. Yeah, neither of us really have any idea, do we? <laughs> no. Blue team managed to get 850 millimetres. And the red team managed to get 1,055 millimetres. Whoa! <laughs> well done, guys. Where's my hat? Where's my words? <laughs> I'll eat them all at once. The 15 points going to the red team there. Let's see how that makes the scoreboard look. We have the blue team still on five points. I'm in shock. And the red team charging ahead on 30 points. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> I don't believe it. And I would be very, very upset if it wasn't for the biggest challenge of them all coming up. Maximum points, yep. maximum action. <laughs> it's the rat race. For the rat race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And 
It helps to be able to see in the dark. Cole? The first, first players in, in the particle accelerator get to grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick, it's time to start the rat race. Red team are charging ahead in front and hopefully we can keep it that way. I don't think so. I know a lot of people would say 25 points out in front. If I was the blue team, I'd give up. Well, those people aren't the blue team and they're not taking on a challenge like this one. You guys ready for the rat race? Yeah! Yeah, let's, let's do, do this! Welcome to the labyrinth. Drew's got a challenge for us. Now, Nick. I'll give you oh. a cup there. And you can fill up this first cylinder here using only the water from the bucket. Okay. That's what our lab rats will have oh. to do. They can only use the water from the bucket to fill up this cylinder. We have some hoses here, and each hose has a one-way valve at the end of it. So when you start jiggling that one-way valve, it starts acting kind of like a pump. And you can see the hose oh. is filling up with water. Once the hose is full, the weight of the water in the longer part of this hose here will drag the rest of the water along with it, creating a siphon. Now, Nick has started the second siphon right there, and as you can see, water Almost. is flowing out that bottom hose. Now, our lab rats have to use the water from this bottom hose only to fill up the final yeah. cylinder. Go for that cylinder, Nick. That's it. Now, once they fill up that cylinder with enough water, that ball will make it to the top. Once they can grab that ball, the challenge is complete. But that's not all. Before all of this, they need to make their way through the labyrinth as quick as they can, not forgetting to get the status accelerator points because there's an extra 35 up for grab there. But that's not the only points they can grab. Once they've grabbed that ball and completed the challenge, they can proceed on through the maze. The first team to get cheesed will also grab 30 points. the final showdown and the last opportunity to get some big points. Red team, you ready? Yes. Red team, you ready? Yes! That's better. Blue team, you ready? Yes! All right, let's do this. On your mark. Get set. Go! Flying through the back. Let's see. Give him a shot. Just out of the big squeeze in front there, but Red are putting up a fight as they make their way through that laser field there. So far, it's pretty neck and neck. Out they come though, onto the rope scramble. Tanil looks like she's just out in front, but only just. David, coming up behind to catch up. Jess, second of our team members onto the rope climb there. Josh not far behind either, but looks like Tanil is first into the anti-vision chamber. The girls definitely need a win here. Girls frantically girls looking around, crazy. bashing on the walls there, trying to find a way out. Oh, yes! Go! Oh, no! Go! Oh, well, one of the team members is gone. Can he tell his team member? Oh, no! Red's been left behind. <laughs> oh, no! No! Tell the demon! First red team member into the challenge area, starting to fill up that cylinder. Go down again, Anya! No! I'm stuck! I think we're going through the entrance! We've got around it! I don't know, because I can't find a door! David, all by himself, working away at that challenge. It's pretty difficult. Both team members need to be cheesed for them to win, so what is he going to do without Josh? <laughs> I think they're coming no, out now, Drew. Here. here they come. Here they come. Other than the other red. Go, go, go. Jess Where's down. Josh? Yeah, grabbing the second biggest points. Go, 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 go. Whoa! Oh, oh, it's it's crazy. Crazy. Oh, here comes Josh and the blue team crashing yeah. through the neutron yeah. splitter there. With the last of the status accelerator points, blue have finally got points on the board. They're on 25 and red are on 60. Yeah. You are. Keep going, keep going. 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 Keep going.
Continuing their charge, getting the 30 points and a good old fashioned cheesy. Now, a bit of trouble in the anti-vision chamber. <laughs> I kicked the wall and it was a gap. I went under. Was a... But poor Josh was left behind. <laughs> you couldn't see a thing. You couldn't see a thing. He's pitch he black it. in there. He had a very good head start. But we picked up status accelerator points. Uh, girls, you picked up 20 and the red team picked up 30. So how is this going to affect the overall scoreboard, Drew? Let's take a look. We now have the blue team on their final score of 25. And the red team are on 90 points. Whoa! Red champion, what a score. Well done to all our lab rats. Thank you so much. Had a ball, didn't you? Definitely. So did we. We certainly <laughs> did. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for being here also. We hope to see you again next time. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.